guys welcome back to my channel today i wanted to do a chit chat get ready with me i wasn't able to upload a video yesterday i normally upload tuesdays thursdays and sundays yesterday was sunday but i still wanted to get a video up so i decided to just do this chit chat video so i can update you guys on some things and film this simple look i feel like it's a simple look anyways usually when i don't do lashes i'm like oh this look is so simple i also um told you guys to ask me any questions you might have on snapchat i really meant like life questions because it's a life update video but you guys some of you guys asked me like beauty related questions which i didn't answer but i will try to answer for you guys in another video i talked quite a bit in this video so i'm just gonna jump right into the look i actually already applied my primer i used the hourglass veil and it's oil free so that's why i have been using this primer and I did fill in my brows. I used two different brow pencils. One was the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in the color Brunette. And then I also went in a little bit afterwards with the A Cosmetics Brow Powder. And this one is in the color Universal Taupe. I always get so much redness. Like, I feel like it doesn't show so much on camera, but I have like a little bit of redness. So I do like to tone that down with a color corrector. I'm using the Urban Decay one in the color Peach, which is really to tone down like blues and darkness, like if you have darkness under your eyes, but which I do. So I'm gonna do that first. And then I also end up using it as a primer for my eyes. So for my eyes, I'm going to be using the Anastasia and Mario Master Palette by Mario. I love this palette so much. I've been using it every single day since I purchased it. I mean, the colors are so me. I just love neutrals. I'm a neutrals kind of girl. And I think they're so pretty. So we're going to do a very simple eye look today. I'm going to start off by picking up this orangey brownie shade right here. It's called Isabel. And I'm just going to work that right into my crease. And while I do that, I will talk to you guys because I feel like I've been super, super MIA this week. Well, the last few days. It wasn't a full week. Um, my week started off really, really well. I was working on launching my ebook, just putting the finishing touches on it, which I did end up launching on Wednesday. And I'm so proud of it because I put in a ton of work and I really wanted it to be something that you guys would love. And you guys have been loving it, those of you who have purchased it. So I really appreciate that. Thank you guys so, so much. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I created an ebook for you guys to download and read through. And it's all about YouTube. It's called The Ultimate YouTube Guide. And it's basically everything you need to know in order to manage a successful YouTube channel. Like I am sharing everything and what's really cool about the ebook is that there are like little homework um assignments at the end of each lesson like not nothing major but cute homework assignments that will really make you think and inspire you and make you start doing the things that i spoke about in the lessons so those of you who have been purchasing it i hope you are loving it and if you haven't i put a link at the bottom bar for you guys to check out the ebook it's at my other website called ourdigitaldreams.com. You guys can download it from there. But if not, the link is on the bottom bar, like I said. This is like my go-to crease color. It works with every makeup look, basically. So yeah, the week started off really, really well. Um, I was very excited to launch the book. I launched it and everything. And then I had some personal things come up in my life. And it really really took a toll on me um usually when i have bad days or i'm in a bad mood or something happened that doesn't go my way or i'm stressed i still push through like you guys rarely see me really complaining on social media i still get my videos up i'm on social media i'm happy i'm pushing through and a lot of the questions that i got on instagram and in general are how do you stay positive positive?" and for the most part i do a pretty good job i feel like at staying positive i just Filming videos and editing videos and just working keeps my mind focused and it does make me really happy. So a lot of times um, that just keeps me going. But this week I 
it wasn't enough like I really just shut down I was emotionally drained and I just had to take a break I didn't post the video on Sunday which I usually do but I'm back today's Monday and I think I'm gonna post this one today um, because I just feel so guilty if I don't post when I'm supposed to so I just I needed to take a break I took a break from social media um, I got my work done because I had videos that I had to edit so I did get some work done but I was just off social media and I needed that like I just was emotionally drained and physically too like I just couldn't do anything real quick back to this makeup <laughs> um, I'm gonna pick up the color Kim which is this color right here it's kind of it's kind of like a it's like a shimmery shade but it's very light not really peachy like more of a bronzy light shimmery shade I'm gonna pick that up and place that just right on my lids and work it up towards that crease color so yeah when you like I said for the most part I don't really get anything get in the way of my work um, but this week was something a lot different and I really just shut down and I needed to take a break and that's totally fine um, but I was like okay you know what I will do whatever I have to do this week and then Monday I will start fresh and I'll be back to myself and back to work so that's what I'm doing and to be honest like some people they like can't do anything when something happens like they don't want to go to work and I totally understand like I've I, it's been a few times where I like I literally cannot get any work done like when my dog Lola passed away I literally laid in my couch for a week um, but at the same time it makes me really good to get back to work because there's nothing that makes me happier in life honestly than telling you guys hey guys i have a new video up like i love when i get to tell you guys like i have something else for you guys ready for you to view to watch to enjoy so that really was what motivated me i wanted to have something for you guys like i didn't want to keep keep you guys hanging like i have been for the past few days i'm just gonna go back with that same first by the way this chit chat get ready with me is gonna be like makeup life makeup life like I'm just gonna be going back and forth I hope you guys don't mind but I'm taking that same blending brush that I put the crease color and I'm just going in so that those two colors blend a lot nicer then I'm taking a fluffy brush and I'm gonna use the shade Hollywood which is this light shade right here and that's gonna be my highlight color I'm just picking up a little bit and placing it right underneath my brows. And I'm getting my brows done tomorrow, thank God, because they're looking a hot mess. And I kind of dragged that color down here as well. And that's it. I'm not going to be doing any liner today. I'm keeping it super clean and simple, the eyes. All I'm going to be doing is applying mascara later. Actually, I'm going to be using one more thing for my eyes before I move on. It's my waterline eye pencil from Urban Decay. It's in the shade Walk of Shame, um, which is just like a really bright nude shade. And I love placing this on my waterline because I feel like my eyes are smaller. So this just opens up your eyes. Alright, moving on to foundation, I'm using my Lancome foundation. I posted a video last week on my top foundations for fall. This was one of them. I love it so, so much. It's been my go-to lately. And I just like to apply it with my beauty blender. And then just blend it out. Right. I like to also go in with a stippling brush and just really blend everything out a lot better. A lot of the questions were kind of like, would you ever move out of the state? Uh, do you want kids? And I've answered those questions so many times in past Q&A. So I really just wanted to focus on just giving you my life update and I to see if you guys had any questions about that. Um, but a lot of the questions also were about like staying positive. So I thought it was just so fitting because I was just hit with a major bomb this week. I should have probably specified to you guys that it wasn't like a Q&A, it was kind of like 
if you had any questions about like what's been happening this week um so sorry guys but yeah i really just wanted to give you life updates and a lot some of the questions were also like beauty like what what shampoos do you like and stuff like that like i just i wanted to really talk about real life and not makeup and beauty even though i'm doing my makeup right now but i hope you guys understand i'm just drained and i need to talk to you guys like you know like when you just want to vent to your friends and you're like girl just hear me out that's what i need from you guys right now so i'm all over the place um okay so i've barely slept so i need all the color correcting that i could get now i'm going to be using a pink color corrector and pink is really great for brightening so i always put this right underneath my concealer i think i put too much but we'll make it work but yeah i know i'm being like a little vague i just don't want to get into the details of what i've been dealing with don't worry i'm fine you guys um i just don't want to get into it and as in the next couple months there are going to be some more changes happening with me and that i will definitely let you guys know um but once i know 100 percent it's happening i will let you guys know of course there will be no avoiding that um but yeah more changes to come now i'm just putting my concealer on i feel like this is the most basic look i've done in a long time sometimes you need a more basic look like you can be full glam all the time i'm taking that leftover because i put a lot of concealer on so i'm just gonna drag some down the bridge of my nose as well and up here because i have more than enough to continue applying the urban decay color correctors and concealers are they're like a lot of product so a little bit goes a long way with them and then to set everything i'm bringing back an oldie but goodie of mine the laura mercier setting powder i miss this little guy i was like let me dig this guy out of my makeup my makeup stuff because i have been using the kat von d one non-stop but i was like wait where is my old favorite and i'm not gonna be baking i don't have time to bake today i'm just going to sweep it right away right off can i just tell you guys i already feel so much better just filming and talking to you guys like my mood is lifting so i'm gonna do a little contouring I've been using my NYX uh, Wonder Stick so much. This is the shade number three, which is deep. And this is what I like to do my cream contour with. I did not do a cream contour all summer long. It was just too hot. And I was being super lazy this summer. All of a sudden fall hits and I'm doing really heavy makeup, but my skin just cannot handle it in the summer. So what I do with the cream contour is I brush it out, but then I brush upwards a little bit. And then I drag anything left over down to my neck. So again, just brush it, but then I also take a moment to like drag upwards. And then I go in with my Max Selena bronzer, which by the way, if you weren't able to get your hands on any of the Selena stuff, they are going to be relaunching in January. And either way, I'm sure that MAC has this bronzer color in their collection because honestly, a lot of the times when they launch uh, like a limited edition collection, they use the same colors that is already part of their regular products and they just repackage it. Um, it might not come with a blush, but I'm sure they have this bronzer color. It looks a lot lighter in person, um, but it's definitely very pigmented. For blush, I am using the Laura Geller 
Honeysuckle Blush. I love this blush because it's kind of like a built-in highlight. For some reason, it gives you like a highlight right where it's supposed to. So if you don't have time sometimes to like do a highlight, this will double like as your blush and highlight. I swear, I see the highlight right there. I'm obsessed with her products. The highlight that I'm using is actually also from Laura Geller and this is the Peach Glow Highlight. And I think it complements the Honeysuckle Blush really, really well. Cause it's kind of like that pinky peachy glow that they both have. How could you ever skip highlight? It makes me so happy. I love a nose highlight. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with the nose highlight. So what I do is I highlight like the tip of my nose, which I look like Rudolph or something. And then I use my finger and I highlight the bridge of my nose, but only like at the top. Like I don't bring it completely down. And I like to highlight my cupid's bow too. I like to highlight my whole lip actually. Which is kind of pointless sometimes because it doesn't show, but depending on the lipstick that I wear, it'll show a little. Then we're going to blend everything. So it doesn't look too crazy. Then I'm also going to clean up here. That same fluffy blending brush that I used earlier for my crease color. I'm going to pick that up again and I'm going to use that same color Isabel, which was like that orangey um, brown color right here. And I'm going to place that right down here. And... I have been obsessed lately, I don't know if you guys have noticed in my past tutorials, but I've been obsessed with using like big fluffy brushes to apply shadow to my lower lash line so that it doesn't look so clean. I kind of like like that messy, like more dramatic um, lower lash line color. So that is what I've been doing. Then I'm going to take um, this brush and pick up the brown shade right next to that. It's called Violetta. And I'm just going to deepen the lower lash line as well. I feel like it looks a lot better, a little deeper. Now that I put that deeper color, I kind of want to work that deeper color into my crease as well. So I'm using that same brown shade, uh, Violetta, right here. And we're going to apply that like right into our crease, but just on the outer corner. Before I apply mascara, I like to do my setting spray first because I feel like sometimes the mascara gets like a little messy, like it sticks to my skin if I do the setting spray after. So I'm going to do setting spray. You can use whatever setting spray you want. I love my MAC Fix Plus, so that's what I'm going to be using. It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara is by far my favorite mascara. It's the mascara that I use when I don't want to wear false lashes because it makes my lashes so long and it also like curls them a little. So. I always put like three coats of this. So look at the difference with this eye compared to this one that has no mascara on. And then for lips, I'm going to do my go-to nude lip. First, I'm going to be using this lip liner. It's from Jordana. And what's the color? Terra Kiss. It's like a deep brownie kind of color. And then for lipstick, I'm using my Too Faced nude lipstick. It's called When in Doubt, and this is from their matte collection. came out I feel like it was kind of a simple look to do and it didn't take that long and you still look like like daytime glam I like it okay I will answer one question because I got it like three times so far already um, and it's about doing YouTube full-time so I have been doing YouTube full-time for almost two years it'll be two years in January 
and I think everyone's story is very different a lot of times people cannot do YouTube full-time until they have like a super large number um, but I don't think that's the only way to make it happen because I am living proof that that can happen so I got laid off about two years ago I have a video on it like when it happened like two years ago um, so I got laid off from my job literally two weeks after I had just moved into this place on my own for the it was my first time living on my own i had rent to pay i had bills and i got laid off and i was freaking out but i remember before i got laid off i would always just like sit at work like Ugh, i swear like if i just had the time to do youtube full-time and just focus on this i know that i could make it happen and when i got laid off i was like this is this is the moment that god has given me he's saying you know what you keep saying you're gonna make it happen if you have full-time hours here make it happen so i said to myself all right you know what i'm gonna take unemployment for however long unemployment is and at the end of unemployment if i still haven't been able to do this full time then i'm just gonna have to find a job so i gave myself that amount of time to really focus on youtube take it seriously do the best that i could so that i could make it a full-time job and i didn't have to go look for a regular nine to five again and it happened i made it happen i worked really really hard i take it very seriously i have set i have a set schedule for myself i upload videos every single week i don't make excuses like i said like even if i'm in a bad mood i'm stressed out i make it happen the only times that i have taken a break are when like really big things happen in my life where i literally it's just not a possibility for me to get work done but even when those things have happened i still have at least one or two videos on my channel like this week i had two videos on my channel when lola passed away i had regular videos on my channel because i make sure to like pre-film and have videos ready for me to edit for situations like this like i just i take it so seriously that i always want to be prepared um and i put myself out there i'm constantly working on new things and if you want to make youtube full-time i highly suggest that you go and download my book um the ultimate guide to youtube it's down at the bottom bar of the link once again because it literally just explains everything and there's a whole chapter on making money and i think that's what really the most of you want to know about is like how do you make money and the trick is to making youtube full-time the trick to making youtube full-time especially when you have a smaller number like mine is not to rely solely on your youtube check like in my youtube chat my youtube check is nothing compared to the other ways that i make money and i talk about that in my ebook so if you guys want to learn more about it download the ebook you're gonna love it you're gonna love it if you seriously love youtube and you really want to make it a priority that's those are the people that are really gonna love it if you don't really care about making youtube a full-time career if you're not passionate about it then you won't love the book but if you are super passionate the way i am you're gonna love the book and deciding on making this full time it wasn't a hard decision like yes and no it was hard because it's not stable for me it's not stable because of my smaller number if i had like millions of subscribers and i got hundreds of thousands of views on every video it would be a no-brainer like i would know like yes i can make it happen but for me the trick to making it um work as a smaller channel is just being super consistent being on top of everything and like people that have huge numbers they can take a week two weeks a month off and they're fine i don't have that privilege like i have to keep working and i don't mind it because i love it so much um so making the decision to do this full time i just i'm the kind of person that i believe in my dreams so so much and i believe that you have to sometimes make sacrifices and just take chances that are given to you especially while you're younger i feel like you have to go for for these things i don't ever want to look back and say damn i wish i would have just gave it a shot like who knows what would have happened like i will never be that person because i i take chances all the time i've taken chances my whole life sometimes they don't pay off sometimes they do but I don't care. When I look back, I don't regret anything that I've decided on. So you just have to believe in yourself and you have to be consistent. Like, to be honest, if you are doing YouTube and you post videos every now and then, like, you can't expect big things to happen for you. I've gotten huge opportunities and I'm so grateful every single time because I know that I put in the work. 
So just be consistent, be dedicated, find inspiration wherever you need to find inspiration and stick to it, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be YouTube, but if there's anything that you want to go for, it can happen. Trust me, it could happen. I never thought that I would be doing this full time. And I'm not making like millions of dollars, like by no means. But my happiness outweighs the amount of money that I make. Like I am so happy every single day because I get to do something that I love. And that's something that I believe everyone deserves. Like I want everyone to experience happiness every single day no matter what degree of happiness it is like no matter what you're doing i i hope that everyone gets to experience that anyways thank you guys i will see you guys tomorrow because i'm gonna have another video up tomorrow because it's my regular upload schedule tuesday thursday sunday so yeah i'll see you guys again tomorrow i'll see you guys on snapchat and i love you guys bye Mwah.